Ladies and gentlemen, so hard to find. we got him. I believe it's time for all of us to move away from mainstream media. And I'm going to tell you why. The most recent case with uh, Jesse Smollett, if you don't know who Jesse Smollett is, Jesse Smollett is... Uh, the Empire actor uh, that that he was one of the three brothers never really watched Empire I don't know too much about it January 29th he comes out with this case he was in Chicago around 3 in the morning he said that two masked men jumped him beat him put a noose around his neck poured bleach on his face on his face and called him racial slurs saying make America great again and, and everything else you can imagine. Immediately, the media is extremely sympathetic towards Jesse. They, everyone is taking Jesse's side. And uh, he, he's the victim. Everybody's saying, like, hey, uh, we wish the best for you. This is why we need more anti-bullying campaigns. This is why we need uh, this anti-hate crime passed. All the like. It was a little fishy though, but I look at his picture after the beating. Okay, I've been in a fight or two. But uh, he said that he was jumped, they poured bleach on his face and all that stuff. And he has, his face was a little swollen, I'll give him that. But he has just one little scratch, one little scratch below his eye. And I'm thinking that if two grown men really want to cause you harm and, and they put a noose around your neck and all the like, they'd leave a lot more damage than just one little scratch on your face. So me, I could not say that it did happen or and I can also not I also couldn't say that it didn't happen. I didn't have enough information at the time. But immediately I see all over the media, especially Twitter, like politicians, other actors immediately jumping on his side, uh uh telling him that he's such a strong victim and be strong, we're here for you, all of this. Enter Chicago Police Department. They claim to have all of these cameras that can witness events and <laughs> things like that in the city, even though you know people die in Chicago every day, but whatever. They say they have some kind of high-tech security systems, a lot of video, video footage, over 30,000 cameras supposedly in Chicago. Jesse is never shown to be attacked on any of this footage. And keep in mind, this is back when uh, it was pretty cold up there in Chicago. It was pretty cold. In, I mean, that's just a little random. I, 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 I'm suspicious about everything. I'm suspicious about everything. But it was a little random that just two random white guys in the middle of Chicago uh, would just jump this actor out of nowhere. Okay, I, I, I was already suspicious about it. Once again, I didn't believe for or against. Everybody else believed in the victim. And I like to wait until the facts are presented. Slowly, more and more information was released that caused people to be suspicious about Jesse's case, okay? Like the fact that there were no, no, no attackers caught on film or anything like that. Between the time he said that he was attacked, he was seen eating a Subway sandwich before the atta supposed attack and after the supposed attack. And uh, just a lot of other things where it wasn't adding up. Finally, last week, the Chicago Police Department arrested two Nigerian brothers. They arrested two Nigerian brothers that were around the, the time and place of the incident. And come to find out that they may have been hired to set this whole hoax up. For what reason, I don't know. I still can't speak on that. But for some reason, it appears that Jesse has, has tried to set up the entire incident as he, he's, he's pretty much tried to blame half of the country, the, the Trump supporters and all the like, as being responsible for creating people that, people that would, would do, like, commit such a hate crime. He's blaming the Make America Great Again, he's bl blaming uh, the red hat wearers, all the like. 
while I still don't know the the final answer to uh, to this case, Jussie is now choosing not to meet with the Chicago police because the Chicago police, after they in interrogated uh, these two Nigerian brothers, they supposedly got a little bit of information that quote unquote caused the investigation to take a different turn is the verbiage that they used. And they wanted to bring Jussie in for a little bit more questioning. Jussie refused to go in for said questioning. So it, it becomes even more suspicious. Now everyone's backpedaling, everyone that uh, was tweeting, you're, hang on, you're such a good victim, or tweeting about making certain laws uh, for anti-hate crime, they're, they're deleting their tweets, they're being nice and quiet, they're not, they're not speaking out on it. This all falls back into my point of CNN, Fox News, all mainstream media, we need to take a step back. We need to take a step back because these people are shaping our perceptions of this country. These people are, with, with, without a second thought, they are working to manipulate the way you think and, the, and manipulate the way you see things. They are working to divide this country this very second. So what we need to do as people, instead of being so quick to victimize someone or so quick to prosecute someone, we need to slow down and bring all the facts to the table. Okay, because it's, it's insane how far this country is becoming divided due to different views. We're, we're no longer acting like the people that built this great country. We're, not, we're no longer in unity. In, in Somewhere along the way, we stopped moving forward. We stopped moving forward as a country and we got comfortable. We got comfortable receiving news and well, receiving news from the internet and everything else and not ever questioning it. We got comfortable with just sitting around playing Fortnite all day. We got comfortable with watching YouTube all day. When it, it's, a, it's a weird thing that happens when you're only used to listening to your side of the argument, because that's what's happening. You got the left, the right, you have uh, Make America Great Again, you have uh, liberals, you have Black Lives Matter, Black Lives Matter, Blue Lives Matter, all these groups, all these little tribes. And within those tribes, if you speak against that tribe, you are exiled from that tribe or, or you're, 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 you're blacklisted if you don't agree with a certain person's point of view. The dangerous part about that is if you only have yes men in your corner, if you, have, if you don't have anyone to question your beliefs, then how do you know your belief is right? How do you know what you believe in is right if you're not willing to sit down and listen to the other side? And that's what's happened. We stopped listening to the other side. We started listening to the people around us and the media that supports our vision. When the media, in all honesty, it should be truth. It should be objective truth on the media. But everything is so biased these days that you can't even judge Fox 5 News. You, you, you can't even trust Fox, Fox 5 News. You can't trust CNN and that is dangerous. When someone controls your perceptions, they're controlling your thought process. When they control your thought process, they control your actions. They control your actions, they control your life and the results of your life. It only takes one person to screw the world up, but it also takes only one person to save the world too. Me, I don't know if I can save the world. Hell, I'm trying to, but I'm gonna start by making sure that I have all the facts and also that I'm willing to listen to other people that disagree with me because who knows they might know something that I don't know and that, that's a part of learning it's not comfortable it is not comfortable realizing something that you believed in or something that you trusted isn't right isn't factual but that's a that's a part of growing up that's a part of learning and we're taking away that crucial part of learning all for the sake of our feelings if you do this for too long We'll become so divided that outside sources could determine we're not responsible enough to have freedom of speech. We're not responsible enough to have free will. Think about it. 
Think about that. I'm going on like a crazy scientific rant right now, but let's say that artificial intelligence gets to be pretty adept, it gets to be pretty, pretty commonplace. Is this about to turn off? Okay. Let's say the artificial intel intelligence gets pretty commonplace to the point that artificial intelligence is choosing what we see in the media or is choosing what we see on, on television. Who's to say that they, that the artificial intelligence doesn't think that we're not responsible enough to have free will? I don't know where I was going with that, but hey. I'm just, I just, God, man. This is the best country in the world, period. Period, if you're watching this video and you're in America, congratulations, a toast. Cheers to you. We're in the greatest country of the world, but let's keep it that way. We have to be the patriots. We have to buckle down and seek truth, seek objective truth, not the truth that you want to hear or the truth that makes you feel good at the time. We have to do what's right. We have to unite left, right, black, white, everyone. We're all in this together. We don't have time to separate. We're not strong enough separated we are because there's something big and bad out there that wants us to be that wants to divide us because we're so much easier to conquer that way and i refuse i'll go down kicking and screaming i refuse so i don't know i just felt like i had to record this these thoughts uh i guess they don't work represent my employer or whatever but fuck it um i don't know on a positive note it's finally stopped raining in san diego it's been raining like four or five days straight it's been a, a terrible 60 degrees here can you believe it like it's it's been cold i feel i feel like some kind of peasant <laughs> deal with 60 degree weather but uh yeah let me know what you want me to talk about next i mean i always like coming on here and ranting but uh, be sure to look into the Jesse Smollett case. I'm, I'm very curious to see where that goes. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, hit the sub subscribe button. <laughs> okay. But um, I appreciate you watching for this long. But yeah, I really have no idea where this is going to go. It's crazy. The Patriots. We have to evolve. I know, I know you think my little slogan's corny, but we literally have to evolve. It's time for us to grow up. Because the world, technology is moving a lot faster than we are. The only way to beat, only way to beat a system like this is to individually seek truth. Is to individually seek objective truth. Don't, do not group think. Do not believe in something just because your neighbor believes in it. By that logic, do you even have your own free will, if that's the case? If your neighbor's upset about something, you don't even look into what it is without getting upset about it, you don't have free will on your own. It's pathetic. Man. What a time to be alive. <laughs> Until next time, peace.